Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to High Media Headlines, where we... God, it's been so long I've forgotten the jingle. Uh, welcome to High Media Headlines, where we give you the top three, new, the top news stories in under five in five minutes or less. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. Fifty million under severe storm threat today as one Texas town digs out after a deadly tornado. More than fifty million people across a large swath of the U.S. are under severe threat weather threat Friday, one day after storms cut a deadly path across Texas and Florida. Three people were killed in Perry, in Texas, where a ruinous tornado slammed the town Thursday. And the fire chief told CNN. The storm also sent up 100 people in the Texas Panhandle town to hospital with injuries ranging from head wounds to abrasions, the Ole General Hospital intern CEO told CNN. The country, which includes uh, the county, which includes uh, Pensacola, was hit with flash flooding and emergencies overnight, leading to high water rescues and National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama, reported early Friday, citing local rescuers. Meanwhile, in international news, African leaders start a peace mission in Ukraine despite a Russian missile barrage. A delegation of African leaders began a peace mission in Kiev on Friday, undeterred by what Ukraine said was a volley of Russian missiles intended to greet them at the capital. At least two explosions rocked the capital, but Mayor uh, Vitikol Kolosinko said that they were caused by air defenses. He reported no deaths or big damages in the city, but emergency services said four people, including a child, were hurt in the Kiev region. The peace delegation, including leaders from South Africa, South Africa, Senegal, Z- uh, Zambia, uh, Comoros, and Egypt, met defense ministry representatives ahead of talks planned later on Friday with President Vladimir Zelensky. Leaders are due to meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin in St. Petersburg on Saturday and with Kiev in Moscow courting the Global South. We'll see a chance. See, we see a chance to mediate a, in a war that was hit, that has hit the African countries by disrupting grain and other food supplies. The mission is proceeding well and as planned. South African presidency said on Twitter after the airstrike. Bringing it back home to the states, Judge Cannon jumpstarts oversight of Trump's classified documents case with order on security clearances. U.S. District Judge Aline Cannon issued her first order since President Donald, former President Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to charges brought by Special Counsel Jack Smith for allegedly handling classified mes, mis, uh, mishandling classified information, instructing the parties to get the ball rolling to obtain security clearances for the lawyers who will need them. In a Thursday order, Cannon gave all attorneys of record and forthcoming attorneys of record a Friday deadline of getting in touch with the Justice Department's litigation security group so they can expedite the necessary clearance processes. By June 20th, she wants the lawyers to file a notice confirming they have complied with her instructions. Both of Trump's attorneys, Todd Blanche and Chris Keiss, have already been in touch with the Justice Department about obtaining necessary security clearances to try the case, a source familiar with outreach told CNN Thursday evening. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. This has been High Media Headlines. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your listenership. We appreciate your viewership. And thank you so very much for listening and have a great day.